EPSXE is a well-established PlayStation emulator, and whilst it may not be the latest, it is still an excellent entry point into emulating Sony's original PlayStation. It's very easy to get up and running, but also allows you to use original PlayStation discs, providing you have a disc drive to do so. Let's take a look at how quick and easy it is to set up EPSXE. So you'll need to visit epsxe.com and go to the Downloads tab. And then in this instance, I'm going to download the Windows version. You'll notice that it's uh, 2.0.5, which is the latest version. Um, and it's not been updated since about 2016, I believe. But actually, this is uh, more than what you'll need to get some PS1 gaming on the go. OK, so what I'm going to do is open up the archive. I'm going to extract it to its own folder. And then we're going to take a look inside. OK, to get running, run the EPSXE application and you will see the window open up here. Now, it's really easy to get up and running and playing a game straight away. Essentially, all you need to do is set up your controller, which we're going to do first of all under the config menu under game pads, port one and pad one. Now, I'm using an Xbox One controller, so I've selected X inputs, which will automatically configure things. If you've got a different type of controller, maybe a Bluetooth one, you might want to select direct input, and then you can map up all of your control buttons here. You simply just click the, uh, the relevant button and then press the button on your controller to map it. But for me, I'm going to choose X input, and for you as well, if you're using an Xbox controller, it should work straight out of the box for you. In terms of a BIOS, EPSXE has its own built-in BIOS, which means you don't actually have to go hunting for the originals, but it might mean compatibility suffers slightly, but I've found generally it works quite well, so we're going to run with whatever we've got in here already. So first of all, let's run a game. Let's go to the File menu, Run ISO, and then what you need to do is go to where you've got some ISO stored. Uh, ISO is a disk image file of a PlayStation game, and then double-click on the disk image file or the Q file. And you can see Gran Turismo is now loading up. Now I'm just running it in windowed mode, but you can set it to uh, full screen in the graphics options menu. And you can see that's booting up absolutely fine. I'm gonna push escape to quit out. And uh, you'll find that actually when you quit out, you need to actually quit the application again to actually access all of the menus. So I'm going to just close it down. So next we're going to take a look at some of the graphics options in EPSXE. If you click the config menu and then go to video, you will then see the EPSXE core GPU page come up. Um, here you can set full screen mode. So I'm going to go for this here and set it to 1080. Um, you've, you've also got the option for upscaling at times two or times four or put it to normal resolution. Uh, you can go for four, three or widescreen if you so wish, uh, amongst a few other bits and pieces here. So the best thing to do is I find just leave it as the presets already put in place there. You've got the option for scan lines and well if you really want to. So you've got a fast or nice preset mode down here. Generally speaking, nice works pretty well. So we're going to go with that. Click OK. And if I run my ISO again, you'll see we're going to load up in full screen mode. And what I'm going to do is run a little bit of Gran Turismo just to show you in motion how well it works. So that's working great. Let's quit out. One of the great things about EPSXE is that it allows you to run actual PS1 discs. Uh, it's really easy to do. So what you've got to do first of all is just make sure that our configuration under CD-ROM is actually set to first CD-ROM or actually your drive letter, one or the other. We're going to leave it to first. And then go to the file menu and you'll see the run CD-ROM op ROM option. And you'll see the run CD-ROM option. All you need to do is pop your disc into your drive. Allow it to register and click Run CD-ROM and it will fire up. The only thing about running it direct from CD is that it will run a little bit slower than the ISO. But um, for authenticity, I guess, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to have. Plus also, as I say, if you get hold of a lot of second-hand games, it's a really nice way to just quickly just play on them on, on your emulator without having to rip the image. So there you go. With EPSXE, you've got a really quick and easy way to get your PS1 games played on your PC. 
There are probably better choices now in terms of things such as RetroArch and the uh, PlayStation cores available there with uh, much more kind of quality upscaling and filters available on them. But EPSXE makes a really solid choice to kind of just get up and running as quickly as possible. I'd definitely recommend giving it a go if you're not after anything too complex at this point in time.